Welcome back to my Low Vision Awareness series. In this video, I am going to talk about some of the very common struggles that aren't talked about that we face as low vision individuals. So let's get into it. Okay, so I would say the majority of the struggles that we face have to do with stereotypes that society has about us. I know I've made videos in the past that have shown some of these stereotypes, but I just want to really dive into it and explain why these stereotypes are wrong and why it can be so hard on those of us who are low vision. So a very common stereotype that a lot of people have is that if our eyes don't work properly, that our brain doesn't work properly. And I don't know if people legitimately think this or if it's just a automatic reaction when you find out that someone is low vision, but I find very often that when people find out about my vision, they often start to te treat me as though I am stupid, which is very annoying and it can be very difficult to deal with because then I am constantly having to try to prove myself to these people and it's hard to try to excel when you are constantly being pushed down as though you don't have the smarts or the mental capacity to do things. When in reality, as low vision individuals, we do have the mental capacity to do almost anything. We just might have to do it a little bit different. I would say the next biggest struggle that we face in general is just accessibility. Many people don't understand the ways that we need things to be accessible to us because it's not what widely talked about. But people also don't realize how easy it is to accommodate. So for example, within a workplace, you may need a you might need screen software that enlarges everything on your screen or you might need to use your phone as a magnifier to read worksheets or papers for your job. Things like that that are very simple, but many employers don't understand these kind of accommodations and can sometimes give you a hard time for them or if you have to call, go to your employer and ask for these accommodations, but they don't see you as blind, which I will get into in a second, it can be very difficult to get access to the materials that you need. Now, as I just said, people who think that we don't look blind, that is a major struggle that we face. Because we don't fit this cookie cutter stereotype of what a blind person is supposed to look like, which if you know the answer to that, because I still don't know what a blind person is exactly supposed to look like. So if you know, please comment and let me know because I have no idea, but because none of us seem to look like the cookie cutter blind person, we often don't get the help that we need. And then when we ask for help, people don't often believe us or they don't understand that we really can't see something. It can also be difficult because a lot of us as low vision can see some things but can't see others. And that's the biggest issue that we face as low vision individuals is just living in this gray area that so many people forget exists. Being in this space where you can see certain things and you can navigate without any visual aid to anyone else that signifies that you're blind, such as a white cane or a guide dog, and that you can use your phone and other technology without audio, and that you can function the world in general in a very normal way, or at least in a way that appears normal, to the average eye, we often get pushed aside or disregarded when it comes to situations where we really do need help because society sees us as normal 
because we don't fit this stereotype, because we are being successful. I think it's very important to bring up that if you have a disability, especially low vision, and you are living a successful life and you are succeeding at whatever job or school or whatever it is that you are working on, if you are going above and beyond and you have good grades and you are one of the best employees and most likely you're when it comes to a situation where you do need help and you do need accommodation, you're not going to get it because society sees it as, oh, well, you must not actually have this disability because you're functioning just fine. And that's the biggest struggle, that people have this idea that in order to be low vision or in order to have a disability, you have to basically live in a, in a little bubble, that you can't do anything, that you aren't smart enough to do anything, that you aren't able to do anything, when that's just not true. So in general, that is really the biggest misconceptions and struggles that we face as low vision individuals. Honestly, I wouldn't change my vision for anything. I am sitting here making these videos because this is something that is a huge passion of mine in my heart. Disability activism is something that I have found to be a huge passion of mine. And without my vision, I have no idea who I would be. This wouldn't be such a big, important part of my life. And I wouldn't have this platform to be sharing all of this with all of you. So with that being said, although I face all of these struggles, honestly, it has built me into the strong person that I am today. And there has been so much that I have learned from facing these struggles. So although they are hard, I wouldn't change it for the world. And I know that many other low vision people wouldn't either. Ultimately, I just want to make it a goal to eventually break down these stereotypes. And if I can break down these stereotypes, even just for one person, that's enough for me because that one person that I broke down that stereotype for and has now changed their mindset will then carry that mindset into their life and that could affect many other people in a positive way. And of course, I would love to break down stereotypes for more than just one person, but that is my goal is just if I can break down these stereotypes for one person. It doesn't matter what struggles I've already been through because they have built me to be the strong person that I am, but I wouldn't wish them upon other people. So hopefully this made sense. Hopefully you enjoyed. I know that this video was a bit serious, especially for the starting video, but I felt like it was very important to share this in the beginning and I hope you enjoy the rest of this series. I've worked very hard on it and I had a lot of fun making it. Have a good rest of your day.